Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Known for delivering dry humor that will have you crying tears of laughter, yes. Amy Schumer is one of the hottest names in comedy. Yes. Oh, yeah. And she's one of my favorite <laughs> actresses as well. Mm -hmm. I recently got a, a chance to sit down with Amy to chat with her about her new film, I Feel Pretty. So let's take a look. Women know deep down it's what's on the outside that the whole world judges. You okay? I'm just like dealing with low self esteem and like. I want to punch you right in your dumb face right now. I'm so excited about your movie. Thank you so much. I saw it was wonderful and your legs were amazing in the movie. Thank you very, very just much. Just so you know that. I really tried to bring it leg wise. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. Thanks. Nice. So you recently got married. You're a newlywed. Yeah. What is that like? It's cool. Like we'd already lived together for like. I don't know, five months, mm -hmm. um, which isn't very long, but we knew we wanted to get married and then, but it's cool like to be done. Like, yeah. you know, I don't ever have to get a you up mm -hmm. text again. <laughs> uh, or if I do, I'll say, oh, I, there's something I have to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the good thing about being famous. Like everyone knows that I got married. Yeah, so you know? they'll leave you alone. But it's cool. Like I found a cool guy. He's... He, I was like, I want to partner up with you. Like I want to go into the business of life with you. Yeah. And he's he's totally comfortable with your career and everything that you have to go through. He is, yeah. He's like a unicorn. I don't know <laughs> that he really supports yeah. me, but he doesn't like think it's cool. Yeah, he's, <laughs> you know, yeah. Him. He's not like that's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's like okay, go to work. Well, yeah. speaking of cool, your career is super cool. Thanks. And first of all, Trainwreck is my one of my favorite movies. Thank you very, very much. Very funny. I laughed. From the top to the bottom. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. So I, what I want to know is, how, how important is it for you to be the curator of your role? How instrumental are you in picking and selecting what you want to portray in movies? Yeah. Or who I, you want to I, I'm lucky right now because, you know, 10 years ago, I would mm -hmm. have been like, oh, yeah, like, I'll play, like, a, a hooker who's, <laughs> like, murdered um, and makes no money. I mean, seriously, like, and... Not that that isn't a cool Oscar winning role. Yeah, I mean, that takes role. skill as well. Uh, yes, absolutely. But um, I I get to be kind of picky now. Mm -hmm. And so it's really like, what message do I want to send? Right. And so Trainwreck was like kind of a love letter to my dad and myself, like mm -hmm. kind of figuring out that I was hurting myself. And then Snatch was a love letter to my mom. And mm -hmm. this is like just a love letter to, to women and just mm -hmm. the message I of the movie is exactly what I wanted to say. I have a crazy idea. Let's be honest for a minute. No matter how many times we hear, it's what's on the inside that matters. Women know deep down, it's what's on the outside that the whole world judges. In your movies that, that I notice that you're really comfortable with your sexuality, which is really cool because yeah. when men do it, it's like, yay, but when women do it, it's like, Ew. like no. shade. It's like so, enough. Exactly, so I, I really love that you do that. How well do you identify with the characters? Or do you feel like, this is somebody that I really want to be in my life, but... <laughs> right. I would say with this character, both. Like, mm -hmm. I, I could totally relate with the moments of, of self-doubt. You could probably find your size online. And then the, the moments where she is, like, totally, like, has an inflated ego mm -hmm. and has too much self-esteem. Like, I've been there, too. Wait. That's me. That's me. Oh, my God. Do you see this? Yes. I'm beautiful. I'm walking around like, I think maybe I'm amazing. Yeah. And then someone will be like, hi, no, you're not. <laughs> you're like, oh, thank you. Okay, cool. But I think having a good balance, you know, just like a healthy self-image, which is so hard to do, but, but that's what this movie is all about. Just like loving yourself, like who you are as a person, not just what you look Absolutely. like. Absolutely. It's me, Renee. What's happening? Oh, full spin. And that's one of the things that I really love about the movie. Like you've just explained, like in the movie, it's very direct about what women should feel about their bodies. Like um, I've experienced a lot of drama in the music industry with body image as well. Okay. And so what I want to know is like when you were doing the, when you were doing the film, did you have any like new aha moments? Like. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna feel that way for the yeah. rest of my life. Oh yeah, I after doing that bikini dance mm -hmm. co competition thing, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because it was written to just be like me posing there in a bikini, and mm -hmm. I was like, no, I I need to like dance and like, go nuts. Up, yeah. yeah, and <laughs> and it was really empowering and cool to shoot because I think when you see her go up there, you're like, oh no, oh no, oh no, right. and then you're like. 
Okay. DJ, hit it. I felt so sexy and strong up there. Mm -hmm. That's what you see too. Absolutely. You know, and then it becomes like, oh, how you see yourself really is the real deal. But uh, yeah, I could definitely relate to both sides of her. And and I, I was in a great place. Like I met my husband while I was filming the movie, mm -hmm. but then we got together after. And I was just, I felt so good and comfortable mm -hmm. and unapologetic that it was just, you know, that's the energy I was putting out. Mm -hmm. And the movie touches on like the aesthetics of pretty because your character spends a lot of time looking in the mirror and talking to herself. What does pretty mean to you? I think, you know, just saying I, I feel pretty. It's like, it's like, just I feel good, you mm -hmm. know, it's, and I can feel good with no makeup. On. I feel the best when I'm just laughing with my girls. Like mm -hmm. that's, when I'm, I'm just, I feel just beautiful because mm -hmm. your friends see you so beautiful, like, yeah. you know, and you see your friends, it's like so pretty. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a feeling. It's like, if I, if you think about who you are and all the good parts of yourself, like how you are as a friend, as a daughter, as a mother, as a, you know, girlfriend, wife, whatever, mm -hmm. and, 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 and how you're living your life. <laughs> Ooh, mm, wow. Yeah. We've got more of Selena's interview with the yes. hilarious Amy Schumer when we return. Ooh, that was very good. They very good. good. We all <laughs> like this. <laughs> and the movie just looks so good. This would be quite a large promotion for you. What are your goals exactly? I get it. And yes, modeling is an option for me. It's not who I am. Wow. In the movie, you know, I, my thing has been for so long about, you know, empowering women and and the equality of women. But mm -hmm. then in the last couple of years, I really realized, you know, it, this movie is, it, it's like if I were a woman of color seeing this movie, I'd be a little bit like, oh, is it hard for you? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, I, I really understand now, just in the last couple of years, it's not enough to just see everyone equally. I yeah. need to play an active role in, in lifting up people of color and, you know, and, and, and people, just everybody. Everybody, trans people, people yeah. with disabilities, and, and women. And, like, you know, kind of shifting my focus to those areas more. And I, I feel like the movie does that. I feel like, yeah. you know, one of the deepest parts of the movie is the fact that, you know, she goes to the wishing well and she wishes to be pretty. And, like, in other movies, like, big, yeah. um, they'll turn into the actual person that they think. Right. But in this movie, it's really about her mind. She yeah. changes her mind. And I think it's inspiring that anyone can change their mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Just really feel the way, just be the way they want, they feel. Right. You Stop know? like shooting for some other version of yourself. Right. Some unattainable version and just be you and love who you are right now today. There's a part in the movie though that's very funny. Mm -hmm. And it's when you like really feel like you find out that you like are the bomb inside of your body. Right. Yeah. And so you come into the room with your love interest and your neck and you're like, listen, yeah. I just wanted you to know <laughs> that it's, like it's, you're I'm welcome. Out. Yeah, right. Like it's going <laughs> yeah. down. Sneak peek of what's to come? I don't know if you know what sneak peek means. Do you feel like in that part, you kind of blow the whistle on how insecure men are? Because, oh. it, you know, because it's like, this is what they want. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. I think also because we've had, you know, since film was invented, it's just been the male gaze of like, you know, just it's totally sexualizing the women and not the men. Yeah. And so to see a, like a man standing there naked right now, like is kind of a punchline still, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, and that's just because how we've been conditioned. Mm -hmm. so you're just like, oh my God, look at his dumb dick. Yep. <laughs> but, <laughs> but with a woman, it's like, you know, I, I, it's like, ooh. Um, <laughs> but in that scene, that, that came from an old stand-up joke of mine. It's very funny. Thank you. And speaking of stand-up, um, as a stand-up comedian, it's assumed that you guys write everything and control everything. Do you think that is important that you have to have control of your material? And how much of the how much of your material is geared towards empowering women on purpose? I think um, I have done all of my own stand-up writing. I've mm -hmm. never had help with that. I would love help. I, like my number one goal is I want everyone to feel better and laugh, you know, yeah. and then, but then having a voice and being at this sort of place in the zeitgeist, like I have a responsibility a little bit to, you know, just say something useful as well. Mm -hmm. 
but um, I would say probably 100% has <laughs> been yeah. trying to make women <laughs> feel good about themselves mm -hmm. and by being honest about myself. Beautiful job. I feel pretty hits theaters this Friday. Yes, good job, Selena! Yeah. Yeah.